fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to share with you my monthly goals update. So uh, those of you who follow the channel know that I had set some goals for myself at the beginning of the year and I update you monthly on them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is also the start of my 30 by 30 challenge. So I am going to be working on this cute little guy uh, while I chat and share with you. So uh, I'm going to move some things around. I think I've got everything ready to go. I've got all my notes and my goals. I've got my timer, pens, tray. I've got my drills, canvas. Should be set. So I'm going to move things around a little bit, zoom in so that you guys can see, and then I'll start getting you updated. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to start down here at the bottom and start working my way across. I might kind of outline the whole thing and place my drills and then see where I end up, but we'll see. So uh, what we're here for today is for me to tell you about my diamond painting goals and where I'm at with them. So let me start that. Um, first off is my biggest goal, which is my diamond painting hours. and. I'm doing okay. I don't think I'm going to make my 1500 hour goal for the year, but that's okay. It's all good. If I do great, if I don't, that's fine too. Um, so trying to move these a little bit so they're not over my line there. Everything lined up the way I want. So everything lines up the way I want later. Okay. Um, so for August, for my diamond painting hours, I diamond painted 133 hours and 14 minutes, which is way better than I have been doing the last several months. So not going to complain about that. Um, and so that brings me for 2022, my previous total was 555 hours and 40 minutes. So that brings me to 688 hours and 54 minutes. So I don't know if I'll get to 1500. I guess it depends on how much I diamond paint during September uh, since I have this goal. And that means hopefully I'm putting in a lot of hours, but we'll see. Um, so 688 hours and 54 minutes. So at the least, I should get to a thousand, I think, without any issue, which is where about where I was last year. So I'm cool with that. I mean, I hope that it's more, but if I at least make it to a thousand, then I'll feel good about that. So that's where I'm at on that goal. Uh, for my next goal, which was my big 10, and that is where I basically just picked some licensed diamond painting companies that I thought were kind of the most popular diamond painting companies. Um, and I'm doing one canvas from each of those 10 companies. So I am sitting at six. So I made some progress on that goal finally. I've been sitting at four for the longest time. So I did a Treasure Studios art. I did a diamond art club, of course. I did a dreamer designs and I did a, um, diamond painting shop. However, I finished a craft ease and a DIY moon. So I still, um, so I'm at six. So that adds to my four. I still need to finish something for by craftably, which my canvases came in, so Craftably is going to stay on the list. Uh, Distracted by Diamonds, which I hope to unbox soon. And I have started working on one of my Heaven and Earth designs. So I don't know if I'll get that finished this year. I hope I will. Um, but it's a pretty big canvas, so we'll see. Um, I've got lots of other stuff going on this month, so I don't know if I'll make any progress on it this month, but I'll try. <laughs> We'll see how far I get. So that puts me at six with those three still left to do. And then a diamond painting Deutschland was going to be my other one. However, my diamond painting Deutschland one is huge. And I think I'm going to substitute a different company. So 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I would like to substitute another licensed company. Um, but one of the, several of the ones that I would order from are ones that I've not ordered from before or that I have ordered from before. So I'd like to find one that I haven't ordered from before. And I'm leaning towards uniquely yours down under, but I don't know if I want to order all the way from Australia. I don't know how long it will take to get here. I mean, I have until the end of the year, so I guess I have several months, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So if you guys have any other suggestions besides that one for licensed diamond painting, I think there's a one called Lola Rose that I've looked at that has licensed art, but she just doesn't really have anything in stock. I say she, I don't know if it's a she, they don't have anything in stock that I really want to do at the moment. So yeah. So I'm still, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do there, but I'm, I'm definitely going to take Diamond Painting Deutschland out of it for this year um, and save that big project for 2023. So, but of my 10, I am at six, which is exciting. Um, and I've started a seventh one. So I feel like I'm, I'm on my way to reaching that goal. I don't know why these can't be straight. Let me straighten these up here. They were going down so nicely in a row and then, okay, I think that's better. Straighten these up over here too. Okay. Uh, so that's my big 10. My events, uh, is still sitting at four, which I've already met that goal. So it's no big deal. I did the Alice in a winter wonderland, the check along, of course, DP for pets. And I did summer with the masters and I'm going to be doing, of course, DP for vets in November. I'm going to be doing drills and chills in October. And I think that'll carry me to the end of the year. I mean, I've already met that goal. So anything else is gravy. And I haven't decided what events I'm going to be doing for next year. I will of course be doing DP for pets and DP for vets again next year. So, um, be looking for those, but as far as events that I'm going to participate in, I don't know yet. I'm still looking at my calendar and trying to make some decisions and we'll see. And that's all subject to change as we get closer anyway, because if our housing situation or moving to Canada to the situation changes, um, you know, if we end up moving to Maine in between all that kind of stuff that may change my ability to participate in things. So we'll see. I say that a lot. So we'll see. <laughs> this is all, um, you know, high in the sky until it's done. Okay. So events are at four. I've already met my goal. So I'm good there. Finishes. I actually finished seven things this month, you guys. Now, granted, several of them are partials, but I'm still counting it. That's seven things. So, and a couple of them were pretty big. So I finished my crafties, which was the cute little woodland creatures with the little girl. So there was like a deer and a fox and some rabbits and things. Uh, I'll stick a link up there so you can, I, so I can't talk today, guys. So you can see the finish of that one. So I finished that one. Uh, I finished a couple of small um, partials. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen pictures of those. I didn't for partials. Again, I don't normally kit them up. I just start working on them. So, um, I don't, you won't have seen them on the channel. So go check out my Instagram. Uh, one was of a ballerina and the other one was, uh, a mandala. So I finished those two. And then of course I finished my oldest and, uh, possibly largest diamond art club, which was, uh, Firefly fireworks. And I think that one came out really well. I'm super happy with that one. Um, so I was excited to finish that one, not only because it was one of my oldest ones, but also because it was one of my 
largest ones and just to kind of have that done and finished it off of my plate was exciting. So yeah. Um, and then I finished, uh, what else did I finish? Oh, I finished a couple of small items, uh, one off the canvas item and then another 30 by 40, which you guys have not seen yet because they're still to come on the channel. But, um, I did finish those. And then of course I finished my DIY moon, which, uh, if you guys have not seen that, I will throw a link up there as well. Uh, I was super stoked about how that one came out. I thought it was a really pretty piece of art in the first place, of course, which was why I bought it. Um, but I really like their drills. Uh, I like how it came out and it was a lot of fun to work on. So also it may have just been fun to work on because I did it after I did the big, huge firefly one and it felt really small. So that was fun. Uh, so I finished those seven things, which takes me from my last month's total of 27 up to 34. So I'm feeling pretty good. My goal is 50 finishes. If I do my 30 by 30 challenge here, then I should get 30 done this month, which will definitely put me um, over my 50 total. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm sitting pretty well for that goal as well. So out of what is that four goals so far, I've met one. I'm well on my way on two of them. Again, the DP hours, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, even like I said, even if I get to a thousand, which is what I did last year, I'll be happy with that. Okay. Um, and then the next goal was new to me companies, which is why I want to get something from a company I've never purchased from before. And that is because on my big 10, because on my new to me companies for the last couple of months, I have not added anything. Um, uh, I'm, Again, zero added this month. Um, and so I'm still sitting at a total of eight and I wanted to do 15. So anything I buy from now until the end of the year, I need it to be from a company that I've not purchased from before. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I just, like I said, I want to save that diamond painting Deutschland for 2023 for, for an event there because it's so large. I don't want to start it at the end of the year when I'm already going to be busy with lots of other stuff. So yeah. Um, so if you guys have any companies you think I should try, please share. Um, I do want to order something from Evermoment too. I haven't gotten around to ordering from them and I keep meaning to. So I need to put that on my to-do list as well because I hear really good things about them and I've never ordered a canvas from them. So I need to, I need to get that done. Okay. Um, so new to me, I'm still sitting at eight and then, oh, the big one, you guys budget, because of course we all know. I'm going to bust my budget. Um, I did really well last month. I bought nothing last month, which is why I apparently made up for it this month because I just decided, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to bust it anyway. I'm just going to buy some things that I wanted. So uh, you haven't seen all of it yet because I haven't boxed everything yet on the channel, but I um, bought some new accessories and some new storage. So uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I purchased yet since you haven't seen it uh, because I will be doing the unboxings on the channel, but I got some stuff that I'm pretty excited about. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Uh, but so I did spend um, a total of $178 and 16 cents in August. So and some of that was just because, you know, again, I already knew that I was going to bust my budget. Uh, I'm going to be ordering at least one more diamond painting this year so that I can do something for my big tin to replace diamond painting Deutschland. And I just am to the point in 
my diamond painting journey that I'm like, I want to order some things that I want, that I know I like, that I want to either try or that I want more of to make my diamond painting life easier, right? We all have those tools that we prefer. Um, I mean, you can diamond paint with just the little kits that they send you. You can, I don't want to. So I like my, my pens, I like my tips, um, I like trays, you know, my storage, all those things that, you know, add to your enjoyment of the hobby. And I wanted to get some of those. So I did. So uh, again, you'll be seeing those on the channel. I'll be doing some unboxings of stuff, but yeah. So I spent $178.16 this month. Uh, which means, okay guys, so apparently <laughs> I, my brain some days. So I had 32.45 remaining. I spent 178.16, which puts me $145.71 over my budget so far this year. Um, which means I'm sitting at a total of 13.45.71 spent so far this year. Apparently I just took my $1,200 budget and added up how much I spent in August. And then I wrote that down as the total, which is incorrect. So yeah, $145.71 over. And so, yeah. So I guess next month I'll just be reporting on how much over again I am. Uh, because I'm for sure that I'm going to be spending more money in coming months, probably in every month, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so budget blown, at least I can check that one off now, right? Um, I mean, I could go back and say that I'm going to increase my budget, but I'm fine with just saying at this point, you know, even though I know I'm going to continue to go over that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to continue to keep track and we'll see how much I spend total by the time I get to the end of the year. Um, because like I said, I, I, I didn't put as much thought into how I was, you know, gonna, I didn't put enough thought into making my budget realistic. That's what I'm trying to say. So could I go back at this point and change it so that it's a little more realistic, but I could, but I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. Um, and that'll be, you know, just a reminder to me that I need to pay a little bit more attention when I'm setting up goals for myself. So, um, and then this is not really a, a goal per se, um, other than just kind of one in the back of my head. It's not one that I wrote down or whatever, but my random acts of kindness, uh, I'm still working on those, you guys. So if you sign up for one, I will still be sending you something. I just am working my way through the list. Uh, again, in um, what was I doing? When I was doing DP for pets, I had it on pause. And so now I'm trying to kind of play catch up. But I sent out 20 random acts of kindness in August. So yes, I'm playing catch up, but I'm working my way through the list. And I am sitting currently at 99. My kind of unofficial goal was to send out 200 of them and I'm sitting at or 200, 100. And so I'm sitting at 99. I sent out a hundred last year and my goal was to send out another hundred this year. I likely will send out more than that. Um, because I have way more than that of people who have signed up for one. So I will be sending that out. Um, I don't know we'll see how that's going to go for me. Um, once we move and how that impacts postage and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know how, what that's going to look like in 2023, but I will continue to work on them. Even though I meet my 100 goal, um, I will continue to send them out as my work, my way through the list. So again, if you haven't gotten anything that you signed up for. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I will eventually get to you. Uh, so yeah, so there's my goals for 2022 so far for the month. 
um, where I'm at as of the end of August. So just a little recap. And again, I will do as I usually do, and I will have a little running uh, a la Star Wars total as I talk through these. So uh, diamond painting hours, which is one of the big ones. For August, I had 133 hours and 14 minutes, which I think is a lot more than I had last month. Again, I finished a couple of big projects. I finished the Firefly and I finished the Autumn, which, you know, a lot of that work actually got done in other months, but it didn't get counted until August. So I get to count all those in. So that brings my total to 688 hours and 54 minutes. Uh, my big 10, I was at four, I'm now sitting at six. So I've completed projects from Treasure Studios Art, Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, uh, Diamond Painting Shop, Craft Ease, and DIY Moon. I am working on currently a Heaven and Earth design. I will be doing a Distracted by Diamonds and then I will have to see what I do um, to replace Diamond Painting Deutschland. And of course I will be doing one of my craftables now that they are finally here. My events is sitting at four. Again, I did Alice, the Chuck Along, DP for Pets, Summer with the Masters. Uh, I still have more to do, but that already meets my goal. So I'm good with that. Um, finishes, I had 27 last month. I finished seven things this month. So that brings me to a total of 34 items on my finish list. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy to that with that. New to me companies, uh, again, like last month, I didn't add anything, so I'm still sitting at eight. So hopefully next month I'll be able to add to that because I'm rapidly running out of time to do that one. My budget. I had 32.45 remaining of my budget for the year. I spent 140. No, I spent 178.16, which means that I am now 145.71 over my budget for the year. So there are my, uh, my goals and where I currently stand on them. Now, again, hopefully some of those things, especially my finishes and my uh, diamond painting hours will increase substantially. Uh, because of the challenge that I'm doing here in September. So crossing my fingers, that actually is how it works out. So there you go. And I've made a decent little start on this guy. Um, I actually feel like this is going pretty quickly. So I'm going to zoom out so you guys can kind of see. You can see most of what I've done, but just so you can see a little bit more. Um, this kind of... Uh, I don't know, like a really pale, pale gray um, that I'm going to be doing that is in a lot of the background. And then, yeah. So this is what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day uh, is diamond painting so that I can make those goals for September. Uh, but now you guys can see where I set for um, through August for the end of the year. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, and sticking around to the end. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.